Hey guys, so here's my unboxing of the APC BX 1100LI MS Back Ops, oh, Back UPS System. So you can see here, it's got technical spe specifications. Sorry, I don't have a good lighting set up here in my room yet, but hopefully you can read that. Comes with a two-year warranty. And I ordered it through Lazada for six four nine nine delivered. And it's got some information here on the box. Uh, typical applications for an all-in-one PC. It'll run it with a twenty-inch uh, LCD. It'll run it for about seventy-three minutes using forty watts. Uh, laptop or notebook computer thirty-five minutes at eighty watts. A home office mid-range computer with a 20 inch LCD monitor only about 12 minutes at 180 watts and a console gaming system with a 42 inch LCD uh, Xbox 360 or PS3 only 4 minutes at 335 watts so that's around about what you'd be using um, with a higher end desktop PC say a GTX 1060 and 6600K you'd, you'd be looking at around 300 watts or 360 watts when gaming um, could be higher but it's enough time to you know exit your game if the power suddenly cuts out even a minute uh, could be enough time but I won't know until I actually test it with my system because you know I'm running an overclock and even the GPU is overclocked so cause it's going to be that system there that I run it with and it's a 24 inch gaming monitor so Anyway, um, continue with the unboxing. I should actually get to the back side first. It's also got some information on this side. It shows that it's got six. Oh, that's a bit different. It's got six outlets at the back, um, and a circuit breaker push to reset here in the middle. Now these are just normal outlets, these two top and bottom on each side, so that's four normal outlets, and then it's got two, uh, what would you call them, standard PC type outlets, and you can see here, when, you can see here what they look like, you know the three pin PC type plugs, it's got one on in the middle of each side for those, so yeah, it's a 550 watt, um, UPS system. So we'll get to the unboxing. I've already cut the top open, but I haven't removed it. Comes well packaged. And it's actually not as big as I thought it would be. I mean, this is what? A foot? It's about a foot, and here's the cables. Oh, it comes with its own cables for those back plugs, from the looks of it. Or right, here's an extension cable. I really need to like Google what these are called, like standard power PC power cable. There's a bit of white something on this. Anyway, so here it is. Feels like it's about 10 kilos. About 10 kilos, maybe just eight. Definitely more than five. Of plastic. I'm actually using a um, SJ Cam SJ4000 to record. It's on a chest mount, so I can talk. Cause my wife and baby are in the lounge. They can't actually. She can't help me record. So here we go. Now you can see it in real life. And so battery connector here. I don't even know how that works. I'll have to read the instructions. And just like on the packaging, really, this is the input, I'd say. And these are all outputs. 220 to 240 volt, 4.78 amps, 50 to 60 hertz, and 500 watts, 550 watts. So, I've got to the part where I'm hooking up the ops system. And what I've done is I've left pulled everything out of the surge protector I've got. This is an APC surge protector. 
um, that I've been running for six, seven months now. And um, I've only been running the surge protector with no voltage regulation, no AVR, because I've got a Seasonic power supply, it's platinum, it's got its own voltage regulation, and I've also turned caching off on my, well, I haven't turned it off, I put it to write through mode, so caching on my SSDs will basically write straight through to, instead of sitting data in the cache, it'll write it through, which affects speeds a little bit, but it prevents data corruption, and I've, I've had like, Ten or so random blackouts here, and I've never had any data corruption issues, no Windows issues. I've run SFC scan now after a blackout, um, RAID 1 verification, and I haven't had any issues whatsoever. But in saying that, um, I still wanted to get a UPS just because I like to, um, if I'm in the middle of uploading a YouTube video or something and I'm typing something, it sucks to have the power just cut out on you. Um, and as well, it should be better protection because this thing's got an inbuilt uh, voltage regulation. So, I don't know, double voltage regulation. <laughs> and so I've, um, I've plugged in the modem, my PLDT modem, the computer monitor using the provided extension cable that they gave, which, you know, I don't know why I can just use a normal one, but I guess it's got the socket there, so... And um, and the monitor, which I might actually move to a higher one because it's stretching the cable a little bit. Move this around. And these plugs at the back are universal. They work with Filipino connectors or probably any connectors that work with Australian connectors, American connectors. So that's good of them. And so hopefully you can see it, my computer there, it's a 660 watt PSU in there and this thing's 550 but the actual load when you're gaming or something will be under that uh, with a GTX 1060 at least, should be closer to 350 or so watts, so or maybe 400 I don't know, but I'd probably get out of a game if like a random storm happened. And. Well, you'd, you'd Alt F4 out as quick as you could. You'd get out of there uh, when you've only got um, three minutes. Unless you, unless I'm on Facebook, then I'll just sit there scrolling until the thing beeps at you to shut it off. Okay, now how do I do this right? So this is the power for the ops. And I've got it upside down. Plugs into the bottom middle port. Seriously, this is square? No, it's not. I'm just, it's like a USB 2 port trying to plug this thing in. Flip it around so that it knows. Until it's been observed, it won't plug in. So, here we go. Plugging the UPS in. Everything else is hooked up first. I've left the computer speakers plugged into the surge protector because I don't need those running when the power cuts out. That'll actually notify me because, you know, how would I know if I've got the light off and then, apart from the thing beeping at me, but I might have a headset on, so all that would defeat the purpose of having speakers plugged in anyway. Anyway. Okay, so here we go. Which one do I do? Which one do I plug it into? The middle one. Okay, there was a beeping noise. I don't know if that's normal. It's like flicked at me. I don't know. Okay, it's, it's making noises, but there's no lights on the front yet. I'm hoping everything's okay. Because I meant to plug peripherals in after. I'll try unplugging all the peripherals because I don't know. I don't trust it. There's this button at the back. Circuit breaker push to reset. Pushed it. What the heck's wrong with this thing? Okay, I had to turn it on. I'm an idiot. So when I turned it on, the thing started beeping. Now I'll try plugging stuff in, which is not the same as 
turning it on except for the modem but if the modem gets power and the thing doesn't beep at me I'd rather risk frying my modem than anything else and it's doing its beepy clicky thing still but I see green lights so that's a good sign and the modem's turned on up there and now I'll do the monitor which should go into standby mode with the computer off which it's doing See the what? Oh, there you go. Standby mode. Cool. And lastly, I'll plug the tower in, which will won't turn it on. I'll have to turn it on myself. But this is the moment of truth. Green light. And we do have power, so you know I'm not running off the battery anyway. But to test the compatibility between my PC and the the I think it's a step. It's it's a step wave, uh, step wave uh, signal that it gives out. It's not pure sine wave, so it's stepping something or other, stepping stone wave system. So I'll try turning it on, and we'll see if it explodes. And it's working fine. Cool. Green light. Maybe it's already charged. I don't know if it comes pre-charged. And there you go. The PC is running, and we are on backup. I'm guessing we're on. We're on an. We're on UPS protection. We're under UPS protection. And I'll just show you guys my PC. Might as well while I'm doing this. I don't think anyone cares. But there you go. It's a deep cool, um, deep cool Maelstrom 240T uh, all-in-one cooler, and it came with those LEDs. And they're not what I chose. I'm gonna get some um, thermal take rings or something like that to replace them. Um, it's a 6600K overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz, and a Pallet Super Jetstream GTX 1060 with two 8 gig sticks of 2400 hertz. Corsair uh, LPX uh, DDR4 memory and the timings have been tied into 14, 14, 14, 31, 1 tick rate, 1 T, uh, com one command rate. And uh, I'm also running four SSDs and yeah, four 256 gigabyte transcend SSDs. You can see that like these lights are changeable. The motherboard is a MSI Z170A Gaming Pro, um, and you can change the lights, but it's only through software, and it won't save like on a hardware level, which is sort of annoying. So I've just left it stock red. And um, same with the palette, you can set it, but then you can't change it without going into the software, which is a bit cumbersome. But with the palette one, when you've set it, it saves to the card. So you don't have to run the software all the time, unlike with the Gaming Pro software, uh, which I wish you could just change in BIOS. I wish there was like an LED or a section in BIOS that you could change the lights with, but oh well. And, uh, and here's my desktop. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys, you guys enjoyed that. Um, any questions, just message me. I've done a bit of research on UPS, but I'm no expert. But I can still, you know, point you in the right direction if you're curious. Uh, there are power calculators online, and there's even a UPS calculator somewhere. Uh, one of the sites that's got a power calculator will tell you how much, uh, what kind of UPS you should be looking at as well. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and that was my unboxing of the BX1100 LI MS APC Ops. Thank you. Goodbye.